Okay, it's uh, Mark Ocatanio again. Uh, let's have a bit of a chat on uh, service strategy, in particular looking at the goals and objectives of service strategy. Okay, looking at uh, this model, the service lifecycle model, where do we start in service strategy? Big bang in the middle, eh? that's where our direction and our vision uh, starts. Mm, service strategy is uh, one of the five idle volumes and it looks at like processes like financial management, uh, looking at the dollars, uh, understanding uh, is there a return on investment if we invest in like for example new services, uh, what does the services portfolio look like, uh, so what type of services did we provide in the past, what type of services are we providing right now and what type of services are we going to provide in the future. Um, also looking at demand management, uh, understanding demands from customers out there and, uh, and the relationship they have with for example the services and, and the resources and capabilities that IT needs to have in place to provide against those demands. So that's the stuff we're going to look at and especially at the goals and objectives of, uh, of service strategy. So what does it say on this slide? Well it says service strategy goals. So in other words what is service strategy all about? What is it aiming for? It says here service strategy it, it supports the organization in transforming service management into a strategic asset. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Well it means for example that the service desk has real value, that supporting the IT services has real value, that IT has real value. It's not just like hey IT is really like expensive and we're throwing away all our money. Now IT can really make or break your organization nowadays. So it needs to see it needs to be seen as a valuable asset that is part of the overall organization. Okay? Not just something that like sucks up all your money. Also it says here service strategy, it should provide a clear insight into the relationships between the various uh, systems, uh, processes, functions, uh, services, uh, business models and strategies and ultimately also the organization's vision. Yeah. So do all the systems and all the processes and everything I do, does it actually support the vision, the direction of the overall organization? That's, that's really what strategy is all about. So it's, it's, about, it's about aligning IT with business needs. So here you've got some service strategy objectives. It's basically about answering a whole bunch of questions. And, and the answer will tell you roughly where you will be in the future. For example, a question here like, how can financial management provide visibility and control over value creation? How can we really show our customers we're providing them like bang for their buck and value for money? How do we define quality? Well, hopefully in terms like availability, reliability, security, contingency, performance, you have to make quality more like tangible. Because in the end, it's like a term a very open for perception. How do we choose between different paths for improving service quality? How do we know we walk the path with the lowest risk and the highest returns? How do we efficiently allocate resources across a portfolio of services? Can at some stage all these services will be screaming for budget, screaming for time and screaming for example for equipment? You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. So in what type of services are you going to invest and how do you ensure you're not investing too much in them? And also how do we resolve potential conflicting demands? For example you may have two customers using the same system. <laughs> one customer desperately wants to upgrade and the other one goes like no way I don't want that I don't want to pay for that. So what are you going to do? Again you need to answer these questions before you can actually even proceed like designing your services. So here we've got some more service strategy objectives uh, with questions such as like what services should we offer and to whom. Uh, we want to make sure that our services offer more value than the services offered by our direct competitors. We want to be able to distinguish ourselves. We want to make sure we actually deliver like long term value to them and also we want to be able to capture how we are generating all that value so we can actually reuse and improve it in the future. And la uh, last but not least, uh, we need to justify our investments. Uh, we want to make sure we're looking at the costs, 
we want to make sure we're looking at the benefits and the risks of, for example, making certain decisions and, and whether or not to invest in certain services. So service strategy is all about like making decisions that have a long-term lasting effect on the business, the direction of the business and the direction of IT. Okay, here's another practice what you preach exercise uh, because you have to uh, bring all this theory really into, into the real world. So it says here like understanding strategy and the skills needed to make strategic decisions. That's one of the objectives of this exercise. And you're going to answer the question, what type of decisions are taken at a strategic level? And what type of skills and knowledge do they require? So I've given you some examples, for example, a strategic decision. Well, you probably have to make a lot of decisions on whether or not to invest, eh, for example, in new services. So if, if you need investments, if you need to invest like money in new services, <laughs> you probably need some like lobbying skills, okay? Lobbying skills with like potential investors, potential stakeholders. Also, you're probably going to make like a lot of like uh, decisions that will alter the direction of the organization. So you probably need some skills in the areas of like you no know, uh, understanding understanding trends, being able to analyze like trend related information, and also I would say to some degree you probably also need to have some like intuition almost, some a bit of a feeling on like how things are going to like uh, well what things are going to look like in the future. Okay, so an interesting question there. Uh, see if you can uh, see if you can jot down some of these points. Here's a sample question on uh, the goals and objectives of service strategy. The question is, service strategy is all about which one of the following statements? Answer A, resourcing the service desk with the right staff and capabilities. Answer B, using the value of service management to its maximum potential. Answer C, uh, procuring mainframes, servers and applications. And answer D, re-engineering business processes to meet service level requirements. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about the answer, and then we'll move on. Okay, so of course the right answer according to ITIL is answer B. And we want to use the value of service management to its maximum potential. We really want to make service management into a strategic asset. Okay, and provide maximum value to our customers. That's what it's all about. So, what are we going to do in the next topic? Well, we're going to look at like uh, the main goals and objectives of service design. Uh, one of the other five idle volumes. Hey, live long and prosper. I'll see you next time. Uh, cheerio, adios, and arrivederci.